Sometimes you just got to chill out. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you guys what's in this box. So I bought a CW3000 series industrial chiller for my K40 CO2 laser. So I want to go ahead and get this out of the box and share this with you. Uh, it was pretty affordable, I think around 150 bucks. I want to talk about this once I get it out of the box and kind of share my logic with you. So I'm going to get it out of the box right now. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to do was start with the back of the unit. So this unit is not a compressor-based chilling unit. This uses ambient air to cool the fluid. So up here in the fluid filling cap, it takes in about 2.1 gallons, uh, which is about 8 liters of distilled water. And then it has a cooling fan back here. And this cooling fan is, oh, pretty close to about 6 inches in diameter. So a pretty good-sized cooling fan. And what this does is circulates the water from the laser into this unit through this radiator and this fan obviously cools it to room temperature. Uh, it's got two ports on here so you can change these ports um, and you know connect your lines here or I believe these screw off to allow a hose connection here. Uh, and then it also has an alarm output so for temperature alarming. And it does come with an aircraft style connector as well as some uh, adjustable clamps to cinch this down. So again, you'd connect your uh, silicone tube from your laser a tube into these. And then you've got your power cord, plug it in. It does have a drain back here and that's about it. This is a pretty simplistic unit, but this thing is heavy. And so now I want to turn it around to the front. So again, you have your fluid level here. As mentioned, um, it holds eight, approximately 8 liters uh, full, which is about 2.1 gallons. At least that's what the instructions say. And again, you can set the alarm. You have an alarm situation here. I'm not sure exactly how you set it yet because, again, yes, I just took it out of the box. It does come with a modest instruction manual here. There's not uh, too much that um, you can uh, gain out of it, but... Eh, it is what it is, typical. Um, again, power switch to power it on, temperature reading over here. It uh, looks like it reads in Celsius, so uh, metric, friends. Now, forbidden to anhydrous boot. I have no idea what that is. I will be using distilled water with this guy. Now, this is rated up to, I think, a 60-watt laser, and a lot of you guys... Uh, you know, maybe saying, hey, you know, should you get a, ch you know, a compressor-based chill chilling unit? I'll spit that out. And really, for the past, I don't know, how long have I had K40 lasers? lasers? I've simply used a two-gallon bucket of water at room temperature. So this is really an upgrade. Now, I don't use them at a heavy enough duty cycle where it's a problem. I am interested in getting a 60-watt laser, so I figured I would spring for this guy as an upgrade, as a start down that path and just you know see how it works so i'll keep you guys posted if you have one of these let me know in the comments below i'll have the link to this i picked this up off of i can't remember if it's ebay or amazon but i'll have a link down below where you can get one if you're interested uh because i think it'll be an interesting addition and again i'll keep you guys posted swag shops up there be sure to give it a big like subscribe over there and we'll catch you guys in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel